And when I was talking to him about just G1 and a lot of the stuff coming up, um, I told him I wasn't, you know, there's probably a million interviews out there with you just talking about football. Oh, yeah. And it's like, that's cool. But I am really more interested in present and a yeah. lot of the stuff you're doing now. And um, I think, you know, one of the cool things about Austin is it's a huge entrepreneurial city. So a lot of startups, a lot of people trying to move out here to do their own thing. So going from, um, I guess, a, a structured lifestyle, like being in the league to yeah. what you're doing, doing now, what are some of the challenges you had to face going from being an athlete yeah. to a business owner? I mean, honestly, this, this side, uh, chapter two of my life has been such a blessing for me. Like, I know a lot of times guys will lead the NFL, they'll lead their respective sport. And once you lose that, you know, that military like itinerary yeah. schedule, you kind of lose yourself a little bit. You know, after I first, you know, when I first walked away, I wasn't on the schedule I was on right now. I, I kind of was just like, man, I'm bored. Like, I will never be a person that just sits at home and be just, I mean, I love being a dad, but I got to go coach my kids. We got to go train. We got to do something. Um, I think that's a big reason why I pretty, I, I mean, I'm one of the founders of Collective. I started, you know, G1, you know, G1, our facility is above Collective. And then I put a fashion boutique, the Connect, yeah. in the Collective too. So now I'm busy. Like, I'm more busy than I was in the NFL. And I think that that keeps me, you know, that keeps my mental in a, in, a, in a good spot because I've been so used to, you know, wake up 5, 5, 30 a.m., <laughs> you know, get breakfast, work out, you know, team meeting, special team meeting, positional meeting, break, lunch, yeah. back to meetings again, practice, you know what I mean? Watch film at night for so long that I feel like a lot of times when guys lose that, they kind of they like they lose themselves a little yeah. bit. You kind of lose your identity of who you are. And um, I feel like for me, I'm trying to be a shining light on, you know, that transition and, you know, chapter two in an athlete's life.